hello <laughs> it's been a while since i sat down and filmed anything i'm actually gonna get a bit more comfortable hold on um there's no real rhyme or reason to why i haven't really filmed anything lately i think i've just been so busy with life and with all the newness that's been happening that i kind of just haven't really picked up a camera to do youtube and i have filmed the odd thing but i feel like if i'm not vlogging i'm not like connecting on youtube as much i guess and i don't know i thought i would just sit and do a little life update so you know where i'm at and you know what's going on in my life and we can kind of start again and i'm thinking i might try and get back into vlogging i'm not 100 percent sure if that's going to happen or not i find it really hard to get back into if i've taken time away from it especially like a few months or anything so i'm gonna try my hardest to get back into vlogging and put like a vlog up a week whether it's like a day or a week or a weekend or whatever it might be i'm gonna try and get a vlog up a week um i've also been doing a lot more like reels and stuff so that takes up quite a lot of time with filming but yeah um i thought i'd sit down and have a little chat about my life and about where i am and what's been going on and basically everything since i moved into this flat because i feel like we haven't really had a proper life update chat in i'd say probably a few months i'd say since like july um because july is obviously when i did my moving vlogs and well no tell a lie july is when a lot of things changed and then august is when i moved and i think when i moved i kind of did the quick brief overview in my moving vlog which i'll leave down below i'm not going to be going into any of that because i feel like that is so far in the past for me where i am now in my life that i don't really want to bring it up like to me that feels like it was about a year and a half ago two years ago um and i don't really want to kind of talk about that anymore i said i wouldn't and i'm not i'm not planning on it but um life update so where am i right now so i've moved house obviously um you may have seen the moving vlogs i've done a couple of like kitchen videos or like office organization and stuff i didn't actually do a video of my living room or my bedroom partly because <laughs> where i obviously live on my own building furniture and putting pictures on the wall is something i have to do when people are here and my friends kind of know that whenever i'm and my mum to be fair they know that if they're coming to my house they're probably gonna have to put something together or help me put something on a wall so that's why there's not been like a living room makeover or a bedroom makeover because honestly i just haven't been able to because it would have been so patchy there would have been so many bits but that being said i am going to be trying to do like christmas bits around the house like i'm not going to be doing a full house tour just for privacy like i have done the empty one which i've actually taken down because of privacy reasons i just don't really want it online and i'm not going to be doing a full house tour of this house i will do like overviews of the rooms but i just feel like because i live on my own i want a bit more privacy in where i'm living and what my layout of my house looks like because i i don't know i just i don't know i've seen a lot of people talking about it online recently and i'm just wanting to kind of not do that um I will like i said though be doing like individual room things so yeah there's not been much house stuff yet there is going to be christmas stuff i'm actually putting my tree up on saturday so when you guys see this i'll have put it up yesterday so there'll be a video coming of that because i keep looking at the place where it's going to be going but i'm ordering all my decorations today and hoping they're turning up in time if they don't i'll just kind of put everything together and put it up a week later or something but it will be coming <laughs> you will be seeing that i've just burped on camera and i'm not cutting this out great um but yeah i'm absolutely loving the new house i honestly didn't think i'd like living on my own i thought i'd hate it and now i'm here i absolutely love it i honestly love living on my own i think it's so nice to have your own space your own rules your own everything like i don't have to not that i've ever had to answer to someone in the past but like I think when you live with a partner or you live with friends or you're in a house share you've got a lot more like a, a lot less freedom i guess because you have to have the consideration of like other people in the house so you can't just like have friends over whenever you want you can't just stay up late watching tv if everyone's going to bed like there's different things that you have to kind of consider and be mindful of whereas living on your own like i can stay up as late as i want i can have people over whenever i want i can be as loud as i want or as quiet as i want or if i'm having a bad day i can come home and just sit on my own like if i want to sit and play animal crossing on the sofa in silence for six hours i can like it's just really nice to be able to have my own space and just not have to worry about other people as much in that respect like obviously i do love living with other people like i loved having housemates i loved having like a partner to live with and stuff but i think 
I needed this in my life and I really wanted this in my life and I wanted to enjoy living on my own before I settle down and have a family and like have all that kind of thing like I wanted to experience it and I think everyone should experience it like from people I've spoken to before and now it's one of the best things I've ever done and a lot of people say the same like I honestly thought I'd have the worst anxiety I'd be constantly worried and anxious and thinking about who's gonna break in or whatever and I honestly just all of those worries the minute I moved in just went and I was so relaxed and so content and everyone who's come over like friends or family just say how calming the house is and how like relaxing it is to be here because it's so quiet like I've literally got construction workers probably about a three or four minute walk from my house and when the windows are open you can hear them really loud but when the windows are shut you can't hear anything um so it's really really nice it's really quiet the only noise you can probably hear right now is my dishwasher um but it's really really lovely and i'm obsessed with it i just feel so grateful to live here and long term this isn't where i'm planning on staying um this is kind of like a stepping stone house for me um i actually really want to live by well buy a house and move back home so this is going to be sadly my last year in london and I'm very torn about how I feel about it like I really 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 want to move out and buy a house and like move back home because back home for me is literally a 50 minute train into London it cost me 30 pounds a day I don't need to be in the city anymore and I think lockdowns really taught me that and as much as I love being here and I love having people on my doorstep and I love just I absolutely like I can't even explain how much I love London and I don't think unless you like I feel like unless you love it you don't understand it and I think it's really strange to feel like such a strong connection to a city but so much has happened since I've lived here like I moved here with an ex-boyfriend we lived in a house share that was really like it was a nice room but the house wasn't the nicest the landlord was a bit of a dick like it just wasn't the best situation I had no money like it was not the best time of my life and then obviously I went through a huge breakup here I found myself I found who I am I've gone through another breakup here. I've moved to like three or four different houses in the last four or five years. And there's just so many parts of my life that have changed. And I feel like living here, I've almost like grown as a person. And I think I moved here at what, 24, 25 years old. I'm now 28. A lot changes in that time. Like I'd basically just come out of uni. I'd been traveling. I was just completely, I, I honestly, like I can't even explain to you how much I feel like I've changed in London. And I think it's just got it's got my heart for that reason but i am going to be moving out um that's kind of something i'm not going to talk about yet because i've not really made said plans like i've not i've not like actively i mean i've looked at houses i've started saving well i've been saving for a mortgage for over a year and a half but um i've got the money started like i've got everything in place i've looked into everything i've got friends who are buying or have bought and they're helping me out with like costs and stuff and it's something i really want to do but i'm kind of thinking it's it's definitely not going to be as easy as i think like i i'm giving myself the deadline of like april to save the full deposit that i've got in my head like i know a figure in my head that i want as a deposit and a percentage of like a house that i can get and stuff and in my head i'm saying to myself that i've got till march and if in march i haven't got the money saved for that mortgage then i'm just gonna go to august which is when my rent runs out and then i'm gonna rent for a little bit until i can afford to buy um because obviously i can't just move straight out of a rental into a bought house because of i mean i could but yeah but long story we're gonna go into it in another video i'm not gonna talk about it right now because it's just a bit like i don't really know how to explain it best or what's really going on to be able to explain it um moving on what else can we talk about so i guess you probably want to know about like life things in terms of like men um i have put off making this video for this exact reason because i want to keep bigger chunks of my life private and i think i'm a massively open book i share a lot online and i've been speaking to one of my friends kenny who also does youtube and stuff i'll leave him linked but we were talking about how um i give 10 percent of my life and i keep 90 but online it seems like i give a lot more and i found navigating certain situations quite difficult because there's an assumption that watching my videos means that you know a lot about my life when it doesn't necessarily mean that and i think it's important to i don't know how to word this in the best way um i watched actually a video of carrie fletcher the other day where she was saying she's going to be taking a step back from sharing too much and i thought 
it just resonated really well with me because that's exactly what I want. My hair's really annoying me, if you can't tell. This side's going down, this side's going... We're not going to talk about it. Um, but yeah, she did a video kind of talking about how she wasn't going to share her relationship anymore and she wasn't going to be doing house tours and like there's going to be a certain aspect of privacy and I will still be making videos in the same way. I will still be sharing things in the same way, but I think certain relationships in my life I'm just going to be keeping a bit more private. So obviously, I mean naturally, every video I've ever done, there are certain friends of mine or people in my life, like family, who I never share. Like I don't think I've ever put my dad or my stepmom or my siblings really in a video. Like they've been in maybe the odd one or two and I'm really close to them. Um, my mum has been in a couple, but again, my mum likes being on camera, whereas my dad and like that side of my family don't. Um, like I've got certain friends who don't like being on camera, I've got friends with children and I don't really want to put their children on camera. So it's kind of difficult when it comes to like vlogging and stuff because I've got to respect privacy of other people and also like <sighs> when it comes to relationships with a male, um, I'm going to be keeping it 100% off the internet and that's kind of a decision I made after like having had previous relationships online and it's just something that I think works for me and is what I want like having had the last couple of months where I've been very 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 offline and I've been seeing loads of family and having more time away from my phone being less on Instagram and stuff because I used to spend a lot of time on it and I realised how unhealthy that is and I actually love not being on it and I don't care about it as much anymore in the same way like not don't care like I still love creating the content and I still love it as a job and I still am absolutely obsessed with it but I don't care about the numbers as much like I don't look at it and think oh my god that didn't get as many likes I'm really stressed out or anything like that like I kind of just let it happen and as long as I know I'm creating content I love and I'm putting out things that I love like video wise and picture wise and what I'm saying and stuff then I think that's kind of what it needs to be like I don't want to be sharing things like as long as I'm sharing what I want to share I don't need to worry about the numbers that come with it does that make sense um so yeah that's that I'm <laughs> I feel really nervous saying that but like I just feel like being online there's such an expectation that you share 110 percent and I don't necessarily think it should be that way like I think there's a line and a point that you need to draw because it's so easy to share absolutely every single aspect of your life and there's so many people that I watch who obviously being more aware of the fact that I'm sharing less I've started watching people and realizing how little they actually share so there's people that I watch all the time like for example the Coney Jolies and you actually don't see anything of their life like you don't know where they live you don't know much about the kids like there's so many things that you don't share but you feel like you know them really well and I think that's quite a powerful position to be in because it's a connection without being like, here's my entire life on a piece of paper. Because like, even celebrities, I don't feel like people should be as invested in, but that's a personal opinion. Like I still watch reality shows and wanna know things about people like everyone does, but I just am actively gonna be taking a step back. And I think the next time that you probably hear of a boyfriend or whatever is probably gonna be, I don't know, when I move in with them or something big happens, like a baby or an engagement because I just want to keep that kind of thing offline and hopefully you guys will respect that decision. Um, I mean in the future who knows there might be like a boyfriend pop up in a vlog or something where it's like I'm going on holiday with them and I can't help but put them in it but I just want to try and keep things offline as much as possible because I just don't like people being involved in my life <laughs> in that way like I like sharing and I like talking about like things but I just don't want it to be that yeah we're gonna leave it there because I feel like I'm not getting my point across properly but I just want to be able to keep some bits to myself and some bits private that aren't part of my job because at the end of the day like, this is a job and I love sharing but it is a job it's not like I don't owe it to anyone to share every single little aspect of my life and I think I should be allowed to give like 10 to 20 percent of my life and not give the other 90 80 percent um anyway next point what else is there um mental health wise actually really good at the moment like surprisingly probably the best it's been in years I have not felt as good in a long 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 time and I think it's mainly down to putting myself first and being more selfish with my decisions and what I'm doing so like living on my own for example I have realized so much about who I am and myself and things that I see as strengths that maybe other people didn't and I think like in my life I've been told like oh Jess you're like this or you're like that and it's always seemed to be like a negative like working hard and being a workaholic 
I don't necessarily see as a full a, a flaw or a fault like I think if you can work hard it shows that you're committed and you love and you're passionate about what you do and yes there is that balance which I'm finding and have found but I think little things like that like I'm finding to be things that are actually a good thing about me and like I can be really confident and I can be really funny and I can put myself first which can be seen as selfish but I think it's actually there is a line but I do think it's important to put yourself first because I think I spent so 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 many years of my life worrying about everyone else and worrying about uni work and work and friends and family and boyfriends and all these kind of things and I think it is important to kind of step back and put yourself first and look after you because at the end of the day you are the only person that like you have to spend all your time with that you are yourself you are the only one who has to be with yourself 24 7 and it has to be a nice place to be like your brain has to be a happy place to be and you have to look after your body and look after your mind and all that kind of stuff like i just honestly cannot tell you i feel like i've done a complete three i was gonna say 360 complete 180 and i'm so much more positive and happy and funny and like i just feel like i've got my zest for life back and it just feels so good to say that because it's been literally like four or five years since i've said that and i just feel so much happy so much happier and so much better um i do still see my therapist sometimes i didn't see her for about two months and i now see her that dishwasher suddenly getting very noisy <laughs> but i do see her again now and the things we talk about are very different like the things that i started seeing her for are now very different to things i see her for now um but she's great and she's definitely helping me a lot um what else is there that i can mention so we've talked sorry my camera just died and i quickly had a look because i asked on my instagram what you wanted me to talk about in the life update um someone mentioned talking about invisalign so that's actually a really good point that i didn't think about mentioning i'm so sorry about the dishwasher i don't know what to do about it it's just gonna have to I'm just gonna have to pretend it's not there but invisalign so i've actually <laughs> i was meant to finish my treatment february to may and basically because of the whole pandemic and lockdown i couldn't get in to see my dentist to pick up new aligners so basically i am kind of behind in it so i had some aligners that i had to leave on for like eight weeks where they were only meant to be on for a week and um i have now finished 14 trays however um, when I went to see my dentist to get them off, we basically had a little look at the predictions and how my teeth had moved and there's like two really stubborn teeth, one on the top and one on the bottom, that he was kind of making, not making a note of, but oh, sorry I keep perping, he, um, he kind of said like he wanted to change them up a little bit and just make sure they were perfectly straight and I think had he not have said it, I probably would have walked away and been like, oh my god I absolutely love them, they look great, but because he mentioned it, I thought, do you know what, for the sake of like, 14 more weeks i might as well just carry on my invisalign process and just keep going get my teeth to perfection and then walk away knowing that i did it rather than leaving them and then always having that one little thing that i'm like oh, i wish i'd change that or i wish i'd change that so i do actually have another 14 weeks i was meant to be starting it last week but obviously the whole pandemic started back up again and locked out well the pandemic hasn't started back up again but lockdown has restarted in the uk if you aren't from the uk basically we're back in full lockdown for one month potentially longer we're not going to talk about that um so i need to message them again today but basically the next 14 weeks is going to like completely straighten them um so there's a little gap that's come in the front too which is going to be closed again and that kind of thing and i am really excited i can't wait to have my teeth perfect but i have to admit i was a little bit irritated that i had to have another 14 weeks but 14 weeks in the grand scheme of life is not that long like it's literally three months four months and it's not bad so hopefully it's only 14 more weeks and hopefully i get to sort them out sooner and apparently dentists have like a different protocol this time around so there's like a different way they can stay open and still operate so fingers crossed i can still see my dentist and i can still keep going with that obviously i'll keep you updated in vlogs and stuff and normally on my instagram stories i do actually have an invisalign highlight on my instagram so if you want to check that out you can um what else is new i don't really know what else to update you on work's going really well it's the best it's ever been um i feel like it's going really well i'm nearly on 100k on instagram which is amazing um what else is new I feel like that's kind of it like i've moved into an amazing house i've got the best friends in the world around me i'm literally in love with my life at the moment like i could not fault any single part of my life like i have the best people the best environment the best 
work, the best everything. The only thing I would change is being able to go on holidays. That's literally it. But lockdown wise, I'm actually finding this time to be all right. Like we're nearly a week into the first lock, well, the second lockdown and I found it to be okay. Like we've basically had a long holiday so far. So my friend Hayley has actually moved in and she's moved in for lockdown and potentially a little bit after. So she lives in a house share and she doesn't like it. So she's moved in here because she basically would have been completely on her own. So we're just making that work. Um, basically she essentially counts as a single household because of the fact that she doesn't socialize with anyone else in her flat and her door is lockable and blah, blah, blah. Basically there's a whole thing, but she counts as a single person household. I'm obviously a single person household. So we just joined together to be one household. So because she's moved in kind of post lockdown too, um, we constitute as a household. So she is essentially my social bubble, but she's living here and I'm her social bubble, but she's, yeah, anyway. So that's actually really nice because it's nice to have another person around and she does still work two days a week because she's an essential worker. So today, for example, she's working, which is quite nice because I think if we would spend 24 seven together, we'd end up getting on each other's nerves like nothing else, like you would with anyone. Like I literally couldn't picture a single person that I wouldn't get annoyed with if I was with them 24 seven, um, especially in lockdown where you can't go anywhere. But it's quite nice because it means I have like two days of the week where I can get on with like filming or editing or whatever. And I can just have a really big chill on my own and like have a bath or something, read my book. Um, obviously I can do these things anyway, but it's quite nice to just have like free room to get on with things like washing or whatever. And um, yeah, it's been really nice so far. I have had the odd day where I've had a bit of a wobble and I think it's just like the uncertainty of it. Or maybe it's not the uncertainty, maybe it's the like knowing, like we've done it before. So we know what it's like to go through lockdown. And I think going through it this time around is very, very different. Obviously I'm in a completely different environment. It's not the same as last time, but I think I almost feel better about it because I know how I coped last time and I know the things that worked for me. I know what helped keep me okay. I know what I did when I felt sad. I know what I did when I was happy. I know that I need a better work balance, like all those kind of things. And I think kind of referring, I've got fluff on my nose, sorry. Kind of referring back to that um, really helps because I can kind of keep on top of everything. But I don't really know what else to update you on. I feel like that's kind of everything. And I've had a cup of coffee the whole time that I haven't sipped. Normally I sip when I'm thinking, but I haven't sipped. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed kind of hearing a little bit of a life update. Like I said, I'm gonna be trying to get back into vlogging. I'm gonna try and get back into the swing of things like that. But it is honestly, I can't tell you how hard it is once you get out of the swing of it because it became such a second nature to me where I was vlogging every single day that now I've got out of it, it's really hard to get back into it. Um, so I'm gonna be setting alarms and stuff on my phone and starting a vlog for this week in a minute which should be up potentially Wednesday after this. But I thought this would be a good, actually no, do you know what? We're gonna put this up tomorrow um, on Wednesday and then we're gonna put a vlog up on Sunday, I think. That's gonna be a good plan. Um, and like I said, we're putting up the tree and stuff as well. So that would be really fun. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little kind of one take life update. I wanted to make it more like a chat and more like I'm just sat here having a gossip with you rather than like, not gossip, it's not really a gossip, but I wanted to make it more like we're just having a conversation than a really choppy edit, because I think sometimes it's nice to just sit, have a chat, not really edit it, not really think too much about it, just kind of sit and have a chat as if I was talking to a friend. Um, and honestly, guys, I can't tell you how important friends are. Like, I could not have got through the last couple of months if I didn't have my friends by my side the whole time. Like, it honestly was such a game changer for me. And I think if anything, it's made me even closer to them because I think when you go through something, it makes you realize who your real friends are and who really has your back. Um, I mean, I also believe in, you should always see who's there at your successes rather than your failures, because I think it's easier to be there for someone when they're at their lowest, but it's harder to be there for someone when they're at their like, highest. So if someone's really successful at a certain point, you should always obviously be there for them. And well, I don't know, there's a whole quote, I can't remember it, but, um, seeing how quickly my friends rallied around me and how much they were there. Like I didn't think, not that I didn't think my friends were good friends, but I didn't realize I needed them as much as I did. And I didn't realize that they'd be there as much as they were. Like there were certain times where I'd just kind of mention something and they'd be like, right, we're coming over. And it would be like the most trivial thing. Like it would be something really little and they'd just kind of rally around. And it was just really nice. Like I had two of my best friends who constantly like planned in weekends to make sure they were coming up so that I wasn't on my own. So I knew I had like things to look forward to and stuff. Silly things like that, which when you live on your own, you really appreciate because obviously the first few weeks of living on your own are very daunting and you kind of 
feel like you just got loads of time and empty space and you want to just fill it with all these things and obviously at first i was seeing people constantly and then it slowly faded off and now i'll have like two days where i'm on my own or a day where i'm on my own and then i'll see someone or obviously now we're in lockdown it's a bit different but it was just honestly i honestly just can't tell you the value of friendship like i love my friends so much and they are genuinely more my family i think like i've been friends with some of my friends for like 15 years and i just love them so much and appreciate them so much and obviously i hope they never go through breakups and stuff but if they do then obviously i would be the same to them um but yeah i'm gonna end this life update here i feel like i've waffled on for a really long time my hair is driving me insane as i'm looking at it so i need to give it a recurl because my hair when i've washed it just doesn't stay curled and i also don't know why it's gone like down and like oh, i don't know but i'm gonna film some reels and some videos and get on with my day so hopefully you liked this um i hope you can appreciate the privacy thing like accepting that i mean my content is still going to be the same it's just that there'll be certain aspects that i hold back a bit more on which i think is kind of I feel like that's okay like i'm allowed to do that i mean granted i might completely scrap that and then i might end up just popping someone in the vlog in like i don't know three months time who knows but um for now that's my thought is that i'm not going to be putting anyone on the vlog for a very very long time um just because i want that bit of privacy like i want a relationship that's not online but also i have to respect the fact that that person might not be online or might not want to be online do you know what i mean so yeah um that's about it <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna end this because it's been a very long waffle i obviously i'm not cutting out so apologies that it is very long i hope you liked it um maybe you've watched it with a morning coffee or you're watching it doing your makeup or you're just sat on the sofa deciding to catch up on my life who knows but um i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next video which are going to be coming about wednesdays and sundays potentially a bit more during lockdown we'll see but i hope you liked it guys and i'll see you in my next one bye